In today's video, we'll be talking about the Enreal Air augmented reality glasses and focusing on using them with a Valve Steam Deck. I want to preface this video that these glasses aren't for everyone. They are nearly the price of a 64GB Steam Deck at around $380 US dollars. When it comes to the Steam Deck, they do allow projecting a simulated 130 inch display right in front of you. I will also be showing you some actual footage using a small camera and a special mount that I designed to help you get a better idea of its capabilities. Before we go too much into that though, let's back up just a little bit. Augmented reality is when virtual images are overlaid on top of a real environment. It can be a computer screen, animated characters, or other such objects. An example you may be familiar with is in the movie Minority Report when Tom Cruise was manipulating virtual displays. What you can expect with these glasses is a single, similar virtual display, but there's no hand tracking, nor will the display be locked to a specific position in space while being used with the Steam Deck. Using a compatible cell phone is a bit more of an interactive experience. You can use your phone as a virtual mouse pointer that can manipulate virtual objects. Augmented reality is very different from virtual reality. In virtual reality, it completely consumes your environment. The Quest 2 is a good example of a virtual reality device, and the in-real glasses are a very different experience. That is, you can see the environment around you while wearing the glasses. Now that you have a better idea of the technology, I'm John, and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. If you visit wagnerstechtalk.com forward slash in real air, it will take you to the in real air guide. This guide has additional details that was added based on feedback received from the InReal subreddit community and should be a helpful resource. Information such as where to buy, where to get a prescription lens, additional resources, question and answer, documentation on the Nebula application for your compatible Android phone that covers the main options for air casting and AR space, there is a section for updating the firmware in your glasses and a dedicated section on using the glasses with your Steam Deck. I've had a number of people ask if I'd try out the InReal Air glasses with the Steam Deck, so I ordered a pair, and here they are. We'll touch on using them with a few other devices, but the focus for this video will be using them with the Steam Deck and how to get the most out of them. The packaging looks pretty cool, but more importantly, let's see what's inside. In the box, you'll get a nice solid carrying case, and at the back, you'll find two additional nose pads for a total of three to help make sure the glasses fit comfortably on your face. You'll also find a prescription lens frame. If you wear prescription glasses, you can replace these faux lenses with the set your optometrist provides. An insert for downloading the Nebula app to your cell phone. A cleaning cloth. The user's guide is okay, not a lot of information, which is typical of most tech products these days. At the very back, you'll find a cover that'll block all the sunlight in case you don't want to be distracted by your surroundings. It snaps on and off easily and will be handy when used in direct sunlight, on a plane, and other similar situations. Now let's open the case and check out the InReal Air glasses. At first glance, it may look like a fairly typical pair of glasses, but when you flip it around, this is where things are noticeably different. Each lens is a 3840 by 1080p OLED display and can project a 130 inch screen in air casting mode, which is the mode used by the Steam Deck. There are two speakers and a dual microphone array. Internally, it has an accelerometer, gyroscope, magnetometer, and proximity sensor. There is also a USB-C to USB-C cable for connecting to any device that supports USB-C DP output, such as some cell phones, some computers, the Nintendo Switch, and of course the Steam Deck. To swap out the nose piece, I use this plastic tool to push down on the locking mechanism and pop out the nose piece. Not sure, but uh, that may be the point of this piece, which I happen to have misplaced already. Well, anyway, as mentioned, there are three different sizes, small, medium, or large. Use whichever nose piece works best for you. 
If you want to completely block out your surroundings and just see the projected image, you can easily just snap on this lens cover. Once installed, you can then use the glasses in brightly lit areas, including outdoors. The glasses are very light, weighing in at only 8.3 grams as there is no internal battery. It receives all its power from a connected device. On the left arm, you have the brightness up and down button with up to 400 nits perceived brightness, as well as a power button which will turn the display on and off, not the connected device. There is a proximity sensor located over the nose pad which can detect if you're wearing the glasses and both arms are adjustable to three different positions. The glasses are very comfortable to wear even for long sessions. I didn't feel any discomfort at all, however I'm very used to playing for over an hour using the Oculus Quest 2 VR headset, which has also not been an issue for me personally. For someone totally new to AR, it may take some getting used to but probably not by much, and again since there's no battery in the glasses themselves, they are light and feel like normal sunglasses. One of the first things you'll want to do is update the firmware in your glasses. This can be accomplished from your computer or your cell phone. I'll place a link down below with additional information. However, let's assume you have a compatible cell phone. I happen to be using a Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. Go ahead and plug in the USB-C cable going to the Unreal Air glasses. Download and install their Nebula application from the App Store. In this case, an updated application was available, so I'll click the Update button to update the app and go ahead and launch it. You'll then need to either create an account or log in with an existing one, and the firmware in the glasses will get updated. The update shown here was released during filming of this review, and corrected some of the issues I was having playing many of the emulated games on my Steam Deck. I'm happy to say those issues all appear to have been fixed with the latest firmware. Now that the firmware has been updated in the glasses, we'll now switch focus over to the Steam Deck. Connect the angled end of the USB-C cable to the port on the glasses, power on the Steam Deck, and plug in the opposite end into the USB-C port on the Steam Deck. The video signal is then immediately transferred over to the glasses. I tried a number of methods for capturing some actual footage so I could show it to you here in this video, including hacking up a webcam that I wasn't using. It turned out to be more challenging than I thought. I did find a small camera and design a 3D printed mount that will allow me to do just that. Though the footage captured is not as clear or as smooth as what you would see if you were wearing the glasses but it will give you a glimpse as to what I'm seeing while I'm wearing them. To use my custom camera contraption, I had to set the brightness level to the lowest setting so that you can see the image without it being a blurry mess. However, while actually wearing them, the image looks great at full brightness. When recording during the day, I had to do the opposite and turn the brightness level all the way up. For that reason, most of the footage I'll be showing is in a dark environment so that you can see it. From the game room, we'll start off with Super Mario Brothers, and while the tiny camera I'm using to record the video can record audio as well, it's really a poor quality audio recording. And it's for that reason that the audio to the games here will be lowered so it won't be too distracting. The intro for this game looked very cool, much like Minority Report. I can't stress enough that what you see here on the screen pales in comparison to the actual image you see while wearing these glasses. The difficulty with this is finding a decent quality camera that is small enough to fit between the glass lens and your eye, then figuring out some way to hold it all in place. This is likely the main reason why you'll rarely see any gameplay footage wearing the Unreal Air glasses. At no point here did I set the glasses on a tripod. I was wearing them the entire time. Now we'll check out one of my favorite Steam games, Pac-Man CE DX Plus. I think it's so cool to be able to take the Steam Deck anywhere and have a virtual 1080p 60Hz display. This is the kind of technology I love sharing and I appreciate those that recommended I give them a try. In brightly lit areas, this is where the snap-on cover would come in handy. Pretty cool to be able to play it outside though, even without the snap-on cover. I didn't experience any issues while using the glasses indoors or outside at night. This was actually taken from my front yard. 
course, you can't see anything, but uh, <laughs> it looks pretty good. Switching the Steam Deck over to desktop mode also worked quite well. I set the Unreal Air glasses as the primary display, then launched a number of applications, including LibreOffice Writer and Calc, and was able to easily view the documents. Then I wanted to swap over to Windows 11 to make sure that worked, and it did. All areas of the display can be viewed and look very vibrant. I had no trouble seeing it. I typically wear reading glasses, but had no issues at all reading everything on the screen without them. We briefly touched on the Nebula application earlier in this video. Nebula may be downloaded from the Google Play Store and is available for certain compatible Android phones. Before considering the Unreal Glasses, check that your phone is compatible. The Nebula application is not currently available for iPhone at the time of making this video. There are adapters that can be purchased that will allow casting your iPhone screen. I'll place links in the description below. Here we can see the Nebula application starting off in air casting mode. When I tap the AR space icon, things get a little bit more interesting. You're then transported into the AR portal that has a number of options and applications available. Moving your head side to side will reveal even more. You can also swipe your phone screen left to right if you prefer not to move your head. Another pretty cool feature is that your phone acts as a virtual laser pointer, allowing you to move it around to select a tile. Then, simply tapping on the grid displayed on your phone screen will select the application you're pointing at. There is a tutorial when you enter AR space the first time that shows you how to move virtual displays around in basic navigation. Here I'm launching Chrome and browsing to the InReal Air guide that we discussed earlier. Keep in mind, even though it's a bit hard to see here, while wearing the glasses, it's very easy to read. Little did I know that after tapping on this little dude a few times, he jumps out into AR where you can interact with him, or you can click the button here and send him back home. <laughs> The cycling application is great if you have a stationary bike or a treadmill. You can pick from scenes all over the globe and watch a nice relaxing video during your workout. As your head moves, the video remains locked in space. I'll brighten it up a bit so you can see it a little better. You can also interact with the virtual globe to pick other locations that may be of interest to you. You can of course watch YouTube videos. This is one that I thought was quite a hoot by Magnet Film titled Our Wonderful Nature. It starts out with some actual footage of these little creatures fighting, then goes into an animated cinematic of what really happened in those few seconds. Absolutely brilliant. There are a few AR games available on the Play Store as well for the Unreal Glasses. This is one I picked up, uh, I think it was around $3, called Magician Mastery. It's an interactive dice game. Not something I normally play, but still had a lot of fun checking it out. That brings us to the end of another video. I think the Unreal Glasses are pretty impressive and a great way to get started with augmented reality. If you own a Steam Deck, it's pretty awesome to be able to simply plug these in and take a large screen monitor with you wherever you go. I'd like to see the Nebula application available for the iPhone in the future. I hope that can and will happen. Although using it for air casting on any device that supports USB-C, DP, or with an adapter makes for a great way to take a large screen with you on trips or just on the go. Please do check out the guide linked below. All the information discussed here and much more may be found there. What do you think of the Unreal Glasses? Comment below and share your thoughts. Are you interested, already own a pair, or are looking to pick one up as a gift? Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by clicking the like button. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel and want to see more In Real Air or Steam Deck content like this in the future, please click the subscribe button. And with that, I look forward to talking with you again very soon.